Rockets fans smell victory. The Rockets have the ball with the game tied and 6.7 to play. This is Akeem time. Jim Gray reports from the Houston Rocket huddle. Akeem early, Barkley and Eddie Johnson next. But whatever you do, don't shoot too quick. That'll give Utah a chance to get right back. Well, it's win or tie. That's the philosophy that the Rockets are going to take. The first thing they've got to do is get the ball inbound. Drexler outside. Maloney, Johnson at the buzzer. Get out! Johnson, the hero of game three with 31 points off the bench, hits at the buzzer to give the Rockets a 95-92 win over the Jazz. And the same cries that resounded through this building on Friday night are raking the rounds again. Eddie Johnson had missed three of four prior to this with time winding down and there was just nothing left. Utah the best they could hope for is overtime. Instead they go home now tied at two and two while the Houston Rockets make it now a best of three and Rudy T left the court with his hand held high. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Greg. Well, Eddie, tell us about that shot there. You looked up at the clock and let it go. Just had to let it go. Uh, I saw Clyde got double teamed, and in that situation, it's a no pressure shot. Uh, if we miss, we go to overtime, we're at home. I've been feeling good on my threes. I didn't get a lot of look tonight, but that felt good. The emotion of all this just a moment ago, you're in everybody's arms. Great. Now you're almost in tears. You know, at 38 years old, get to experience this. You know, not many 38 year olds get that. What's and happened with you in the last couple of games? I just feel good. I think I'm getting my confidence back. And if I got good legs under me, I'll be OK. Charles, you said this was the season today. If you lost this one. It would have been catastrophic to come back. Well, they're too good for us to beat them. They're going to try to think it down 3 1. Big shot. Dream play terrific. You were begging for the ball. You told Rudy, I want the ball in the last situation, and, and he ignored you. I always want the ball. I think every time I play, I'm the best player in the world. And if we lose, I can deal with that. But he called Dream's number. They doubled. He made a terrific shot. How about going back into Utah? Now it's the same quest. You got to win one out of two there. Yeah, but you know what? They got a really good team. And we got a really good team. We have not played well there. And we're going to have to raise the level of our game. Did you feel the sense of urgency today that you asked your team to give you? Yes. We're two games away from being done, but we're two games away from the finals. You know, they said it's not life or death, and I said they're right. It's a lot more important than that. All right, Charles, congratulations. Akeem, quickly in Utah, can you beat them there? Well, the pressure is on them now. We'll see what they do. Congratulations, Akeem. It's been a great Thank you very much. All right, let's send it back to Greg Gumbel. All right, Jim Gray. Hey, these Houston Rockets, you have to like the way they rebounded here at home, Bill. When you make a big shot like Eddie Johnson did, it turns everything around to confidence and the, and the seed of doubt that they show, uh, sowed in the Utah Jazz. What has this done to Utah's <laughs> confidence, Steve? Nothing. We're going home, <laughs> and they're going to win the game in Utah. That's how they feel they had two to burn. Once again, our final score, the Rockets 95, the Jazz 92. Tomorrow, join us on the holiday, 3 p.m. Eastern time with NBA Showtime as the 